what is going on guys welcome to a new year a new episode of delver i'm still trying to figure out what kind of uh content i want to make on a weekly basis um i've had a lot of fun doing delver uh in 2022 just at the end there we've done about six or seven episodes um and i took a little bit of an extended break uh for the holidays from worrying about making content or live streaming or doing any of that stuff i've been trying to stay off the computer as much as possible play a lot of paper magic and you know that trend is going to continue as much as i can but i still want to make content i still want to have fun talking to everybody about magic the gathering and so we're going to do um a new episode of delver today it is january 11th a wednesday my dude and we're going to see how this feels we might switch it up to maybe wednesdays uh we might switch it up to uh every two weeks maybe uh let me know how you feel uh, basically we just are at the whim of information and we try not to stress out about putting out new videos all the time even though that's what the youtube algorithm wants um so we're just going to jump into a few news stories today. Um, Magic the Gathering obviously has had a bit of a tumultuous last few months. Uh, parent company was the coast and Hasbro has not been making a lot of fans of their players. Um, and I think that we're going to see a little bit of a shift uh, in the Magic the Gathering communication space. Uh, throughout the this next year it being the 30th anniversary uh officially until uh, this fall there's a lot going on uh in magic the gathering this year and uh i'm excited for it all we're just gonna have to wait and see how wizards of the coast communicates all that with us the fans uh the first thing i wanted to point out today was that there's some important dates finally revealed um for mpg phyrexia which is the, um, I, I assume, Phyrexia all will be one. I'm not sure why they're not using the hashtag MPG1. Um, but so tomorrow, January 12th, we're getting a Building Worlds video and stories begin. So we're going to see them publish the, um, the stories on, on the Wizards of the Coast Magic the Gathering website. And then January 17th, We've got the set debut stream, um, and that will also probably include the loading ready run free pre-release. Then February 3rd is pre-release locally, so wherever you are, go down to your local game shop um, and play Phyrexia All Will Be One at the pre-release event. And then the following week, February 10th, is the official launch. So keep those dates in mind moving forward. Uh, the next thing I wanted to kind of talk about is that the arena open for January is going to go back to a non-standard format, uh, which is a Kaldheim. It's pretty exciting because Kaldheim was a format that people loved to draft. It was huge in our house. It was one of the first things that was around when we got back into Magic here. Um, so them focusing the arena open in January on Cal time is really, really cool. Uh, obviously the same payouts are still in play. You can earn up thousand dollars and an invitation to a qualifier weekend. Uh, day one is going to be, um, best of one and best of three at Cal time sealed matches using 30 minute match timers. And then, um, Day two will be a draft. You'll get the, the two drafts. They've kind of refined and perfected this format. Basically, you draft once, you win, uh, you play four games guaranteed. If you go three and one or four and one, you earn a draft two token. If you go four and oh, uh, you get to lose one match in the second draft. If you go three and one, you have to win the second draft outright to get the top payout and the uh payout are uh, two thousand dollars plus qualifier invite for four win one thousand dollars plus qualifier invite for three five hundred dollars plus qualifier weekend invitation for two 
and then one win gets you 15,000 gems. Zero win gets you 5,000 gems. So no matter what, if you qualify for draft two, you get a pretty decent payout with 5,000 gems. I believe the entry fee is more than that. Let me just try to find this entry fee. Entry fee, entry fee. Uh, here we go, the entry fee. 5,000 gems. Okay, so if you make draft two, you get back your gem that you spent to enter, uh, which is the least they can do, absolutely. Give you a digital currency. The other news uh, I wanted to focus on and spend a little bit more time on today was the fact that for some reason, Wizards of the Coast is just full of leaky holes right now. Um, we're only a few weeks away from Magic, uh, Magic's first set of 2023. Phyrexia all will be one. And they can't keep the lid on the stuff. Um, someone has taken pictures of either real printed cards or test cards. Um, some of the photos make it kind of look like the cards are printed on paper. Um, but I'm not going to go through all of these. I just wanted to go through a quick little um, rundown of some of them that we've got. Oh, you know, actually, you know what? Before we go into this, um, I, I want to give us a, a warning. I will put chapters on this video. If you're not interested in Phyrexia, all will be one potential spoilers. Again, these are leaked. They're not concrete. They have not been confirmed. Um, but someone is putting them out onto the internet saying that they are official cards from the upcoming set. If you don't want to be spoiled on any of them, skip ahead to the next chapter, uh, which will probably be the outro because this is kind of the last uh, news story we're going to talk about today. Uh, so let's quickly run through some of the bigger things. We've got Glissa and Azuri coming back. Um, we've got some interesting uh, lands. We've got a Tyvar Planeswalker, a Kaya Planeswalker. Uh, we've got some cool artifacts. We've got some more cool land. Uh, Venser is coming back. We've seen uh, them in some of the promo art. So that is no, no surprise there. Um, Unctus Grand Metatech is coming. That seems pretty cool. This awesome uh, Geth card looks very uh, menacing there. Basically, just a lot of really cool cards. Some reprints, like Phyrexian Arena, um, some more Dual Lands, Conduit of the World, the Eternal Wanderer Planeswalker. So we've got a Wanderer Planeswalker. Um, more looks at, at land Phyrexian Druid. Pretty cool. If you want to look at this list, I'll put the uh, link to this article in the description below. Otherwise, it's just a lot of cool, interesting um, reveals from some of the gameplay that they're going for in Phyrexia All Will Be One. The main one, uh, of course, is going to be Toxic. Uh, players dealt damage uh, by this creature get a poison counter rather than uh, going with the Infect. They've decided to call it Toxic. Uh, this Rat King is really cool. All other Rat have toxic one uh very interesting and then obviously some of the earlier spoiled stuff which is um nissa being completed Nebraska being completed and jace being completed so if you're a fan of some big big uh, characters in the magic lore care to be slightly upset um again i'll post this link in the description below if you want to go check out the in totality uh, here I wanted to quickly show these are the this is the known knowledge this is so when they revealed Brex they all will be one they said that there's gonna be 10 major planeswalkers they revealed who they were and then they said that five of them will not survive so we know immediately that five out of these ten are going to uh, become completed or be completed and the only two we've seen so far officially on Wizards of the Coast channels, um, the actual cards we've seen them are uh, Kaito and 
four, I believe it their name is. Um I kind of forget. I always forget their name. Uh, let me just look real quick. Koth. Kaito and Koth are the only two that have actually been shown what the card is. They're they're not completed. They're safe. Um, and then uh, when I click over, we're going to see what all of the leaks have shown. So now we're down to eight known and two unknown. But if you do the math, you know, we've already got five planeswalkers safe, which means that these last two are going to be completed. So unfortunately, Jace, Nissa, Baraska, some of the most important and beloved characters in uh, Magic the Gathering are being completed if we're to believe the leaked cards. And, and this kind of goes on trend. Um, Wizards of the Coast and Magic the Gathering, you know, completed Cameo and Johnny, like two beloved characters. Um, so it feels like they're kind of going for the heartstrings. Uh, if you took a look at this list of 10 Planeswalkers, um, I'm kind of surprised that someone like uh, Kaya has survived. If we're just going for, you know, beloved characters, but, you know, we've got Jace, Nissa, Braska all being done, undone by uh, the mother and all of Phyrexia. It was speculated that either Jace or Baraska would be completed because their um, tumultuous love affair uh, had to have been you know, compli further complicated by one of them essentially dying and the other one surviving. But both of them have been completed uh, as per the leaked card. So let me know in the description or in the comments below what you think of these uh, leaks, whether or not you believe them. Again, none of this is concrete. None of these are confirmed. Um, this is just leaked images someone has put out on the internet. They're, we're not certain where these people got the cards or how they got the images, but it looks like they are authentic. But again, can't believe everything you see on the internet. So maybe they're leaking them on purpose to throw us off. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. We're going to get an official look on the 17th, which is very exciting. And obviously, we'll have our hands on the cards come February 3rd at the pre-release event. Who are you most disappointed uh, is being completed? Who are you most excited to save? Let me know in the comments below. And, and let me know what you want from uh, a brief little news like this uh if i'm putting these together once a week what where should i be looking what kind of information are you looking for do you want me to remain uh as by partial as i can and you know refrain from injecting a lot of my own opinion or take something do you want to have conversation uh with me let, let me know in the comments below i'm just trying to kind of suss out where i'm going with it and I want to keep making magic content. Um, I'm going to begin doing uh, product reviews soon. So that's very exciting. I want to get those out as soon as possible. So if you have a favorite product, a sleeve, a deck box, a play mat, any edge case companies, a carrying case, let me know uh, outside of the major companies that everyone is well aware of. Let me know if you have a pet company that you love their product. Um, either tag them or link me to a product in the comments and i will put that on my list of things to review i just want to kind of do a an everyday product review talk about some of my favorite things uh maybe inspect some things that i overlook and to move on from there i just want to give the best information that i can and be a part of this community because they always make me feel loved i always feel excited to talk to you guys so until next time, thank you so much for watching these. Don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe, or dislike the video. Subscribe is the main part. We hit 100 subscriptions uh, over the holiday break, and 
that I never thought we'd get there. So let's keep the train rolling and we'll eventually unlock some more fun uh, ways to, to make some money and inject some more time and, and effort into, into these videos and the channel in general. So thank you so much. I love you all. Uh, be kind to one another and may all of your opening hands be keeps and may all your opponents mulligan. Say something nice to yourself in the mirror. Say something nice to someone else. It's free to be kind. I love you.